Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Today's topic is going to be, what am I doing wrong? And I get that question more times than you realize. So, it's going to be a hot one today. It's already like 80 degrees, not even 12 o'clock noon. I think it's going up to like 93. So I'm actually wearing shorts, t-shirt. It's awesome. <sighs> listen to the birds and the nature take a couple of nice breaths breathe in the calm and exhale the storm so this concept of what am I doing wrong really ties into a statement I made several times in yesterday's video without judgment and it's really important to recognize that um, TMS perceived danger pain it's not your fault you're not doing anything wrong the brain's just perceiving danger period the issue with trying to figure it out like what am I doing wrong I know it's a logical question it's saying well oh, the pain's here for a reason, the symptoms are here for a reason, I must be doing something wrong, or I must be able to do something different to get a different outcome. And the challenge with that question is, it kind of is a never-ending question, because as long as you have symptoms, you're gonna judge that you're doing something wrong, and that kind of leaves you in a state of, I don't know, frustration, aggravation, despair, I can't figure it out, can't figure it out, can't figure it out. And even if you could figure it out, all that's going to do is add six more items to your list of things you're doing wrong that you need to fix. Which goes against the, the concept of without judgment, right? And it also goes against Sarno's core statement. There's nothing wrong with you. Go live your life, right? And I know that statement's really, really tough to accept internalize believe you say well that might make sense for somebody else but that does not apply to me but what if it does and you're just convincing yourself that it doesn't so what are you doing wrong maybe trying too hard maybe spending too much time trying to fix yourself remember the analogy how much time would you spend in your garage fixing a brand new car that's working perfectly? You probably wouldn't. So why are we spending an hour, three hours, uh, all day long focused on TMS and getting rid of the things that we don't want? Remember folks, this is neuroplastic, which means, you know, we've got these neural connections in our brain that are just focusing on the things that you've instructed the brain are the most important and if you're focusing on the symptoms and the pain and fixing them all day long your brain's going to always be looking out for what those connections and utilizing them so if you want to forget how to speak the language of pain or other symptoms we give it as little attention as possible but that's impossible to do if you're terrified of the symptoms and what that means about you and your future so we got to go back to the beginning fundamental basic knowledge what's going on TMS mind body syndrome perceived danger pain and or symptoms that's it your brain's just in an overprotected mode so the best way to calm it down is to actually respond calmly to whatever's happening and the desperate you know all day long uh, compelling need to figure it out to figure out what you're doing wrong so you can fix it just leaves you feeling more broken, more frustrated, more disempowered because as long as you have symptoms you're going to think I'm screwing this up. I'm screwing up this thing called TMS and the recovery process. I'm screwing up this thing called life. Look at me. I'm racked with symptoms. I must be doing something wrong. You know, and then we compare ourselves and say, well, they don't have problems, they don't have problems. I think you'd be surprised at how many problems people have because they're not visible. You know, 
somebody with migraine headaches walking through the mall on a day where they feel okay, it's invisible. You don't know that four days out of seven, you're racked in pain. So to judge yourself and compare yourself against others when we really don't know other people's stories, you know, nobody's got symptoms like I do. Okay, out of 7.2 billion people on the planet, nobody? Really? You're all very special and unique, but you're also not so different from the rest of the human beings on this planet who have the very human condition of perceived danger pain, TMS, mind-body syndrome. The goal is get the accurate knowledge, fix the data. If the brain is perceiving danger everywhere, there's really not danger, well, doesn't it make sense to fix the data, correct the misinformation, so that the brain can make a different decision? So if you're stuck on this whole concept of what am I doing wrong, I must be doing something wrong, I strongly encourage you to drop the judgment because all that judgment does is create more feelings of I'm broken, I'm awful, I'm not doing this right. Does that sound like safe or dangerous? So the more danger we even impose on ourselves by thinking we're doing this thing called life and recovery incorrectly, is gonna keep the whole system kinda up here on edge. So without judgment, it's a key phrase I wanna probably start drilling in a little bit more. If you have symptoms, okay. Watch yesterday's video. If the storm is raging, it is what it is. Getting frustrated, pissed off, aggravated, scared, catastrophically thinking about a life in a wheelchair. It's not going to teach your brain you're safe. What is? Without judgment, notice the symptoms and respond calmly, reassuringly, indifferently if you can, but I know that's not always available. So if you can't be indifferent, don't judge yourself for not being indifferent. I get so many questions. Dan, you know, I try to be indifferent, but I can't. I I'm just not capable of it. And then they believe that, oh, I'm doing it wrong. I'm not going to get better because I can't be indifferent. Look, indifference is not always available. It's nice if we can get there. But if you can't, at least don't freak out as much at all if possible but at least don't freak out calmly reassure yourself of the accurate knowledge you have relax your body feel your emotions don't take your own thinking so seriously have a mindset of okay it is what it is it'll go when it goes shift your attention back to living life as much as possible given your situation that's it it's not complicated and if you're doing three hours a day of brain retraining and meditation and journaling and breath work and you know 18 other different mind body tms practices and it's not working the only conclusion you can come to is i'm doing it wrong i don't think we have to do 18 things a day to fix ourselves why core message you're not broken there's nothing to fix so just trying to drive that home without judgment and without judgment, you're probably not going to believe that you're doing something wrong. None of this is your fault. It's just where you ended up. But the good news is, through the things I teach every day, they help. And if you want to see the evidence of that, scroll through the comments on Facebook and YouTube, and you'll see people all over the place every single day saying, this stuff's working for me. I did this, this, and that, and I'm feeling better mentally emotionally and physically. And so, you can too. There's a gnat flying around. <laughs> They're here. Hot summer day, rained yesterday, everything's humid. The mosquitoes are gonna be out soon. You'll see me slapping the mosquitoes. So, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Heading to see mom. Haven't seen her for, yeah, I saw her last week. So, gonna go hang out, spend the night and uh, chill out with mom. So hopefully you're all having a great, great weekend. Happy Sunday or whatever day you watch this. Um, love you and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.